Oh no. What? Detective? What, what is it, Dooley? Is it something about the monster? Something about the case? No, it's something even worse! Much worse! Worse than the creature that's currently rampaging through the city. Yeah! It's the worst thing ever! What could it possibly be? I forgot my homework! What? History! I forgot my history homework! Quick! Help me! I, I've got it right here! Why'd you have it here? Who was the fourth president of the United States? I've currently got Roland McDoland! I don't think that's right, though! Why do you still have that? I, I need to finish it! If I do, I'll only get an F minus! Dooley, that was a long time ago. I don't think the principal's going to care. But he might! Every time he looks at me, he's probably going, Oh, there he is! Dooley, the guy that didn't finish his history homework, he's gonna amount to nothing. Everyone's thinking that, Detective. The world looks at me and judges! Dooley? Yeah? It doesn't matter. None of this matters. But some of my best memories are from school! And some of the worst. That's just life. You know, you're, maybe you're right. Maybe the history- Oh wait, I forgot math as well! And science! And geography! Home economics! Did I not do a single piece of homework while I was at school? Yep, you didn't do one. I was in detention a lot, wasn't I? Oh yeah, yeah you were. We should probably focus on the case. I suppose. But while I've got you here, what's 2 plus 4? Hey here, folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Dark Side Detective 2, A Fumble in the Dark, and we last we left off. Turns out, Dooley made a friend while they were on the other side. Okay, friend is a strong word. An entity decided to make Dooley their pet. And then they tried to persuade Dooley that the Queen was never going to find them, and then we found them. And now that entity is a bit mad. They probably used the spell we cast to get Dooley back as a way to get into our world. And oh my, are they making their presence known because they're huge! Right, there's the staff room. I can't get into the principal's office. Why would you want to? I spent all of the high school trying to stay out of that place. And you probably failed. Right, staff room. I always wonder what this place looked like. You've never been? No, it was off limits. Wait, you were? Yeah, I was allowed in when I was dating a teacher. Wait, what? You dated a teacher? That's wrong on so many levels. Tell me about it. It was for biology. I had to get a teacher's cells and date how old they were. It was a right kerfuffle. Hmm. What, you thought it was something else? Oh, a much smaller bit. It's amazing to see what the other half, the academic elites, throw away. To you and me, that's a yogurt cart. But to them... Well, I mean, it's probably still a yogurt cart. That was a bad example. That it was. There's sandwiches, soups, cake, yogurts, milk, and more in here. Thank goodness I'm starving. Let's eat. Sorry, buddy. Everything is protected by the law of the label. I know. I know. If there's a name, then that's a shame. Even I wouldn't break the First Amendment of the Constitution. Oh, wait. The milk hasn't got a name. Let's take it. It's the Old West when it comes to unclaimed fridge what? items. Hoorah! Milk, liberated from the staff fridge. It belonged to nobody, so it belongs now to us. That's definitely going to be useful at some point. All children inside, please do not release. Eh. Best listen to them. So long, some long forgotten jars labeled dreams, hopes, ideologies. Man, that's dark. Carl's eels, hands off. Well, you heard it. Eek! Close the door! I'm hiding from the students who've come back, presumably from the dead! Fair enough. Lots of sticks of chalk, all either nibbled or licked. None of it usable. The shame! Seems to be internal memos. Tina, stop parking on the sports field. I need somebody to swap classes with me next Tuesday, attending end of the world ritual. Don't want to abandon class entirely in case it doesn't go to plan. Leg swap next Friday. Oh boy, that sounds exciting. This is the wreck area? No wonder they were always so angry. There is also a fuse box. The school's fuse box, the source of all power in this place. Nuh uh! Everyone knows the principal is the source of all power here. And we're gonna destroy it. The cover is off, we're on the road to mischief! Clippers. I don't know what wires I want to cut. Oh. Don't we want to just cut all of them? 
You'd think we just want to cut every single one, but, uh, don't think so. Hmm. Well, we know where we need to... If I just do it again... Yeah, we need to check which one. So, let's go further down. Ah, more stuff. You know, I owe my labyrinthine approach to crime solving to this place. The career guidance counselor told me that I should be amazed if I ever found work. Are you sure she didn't say, be amazed? Detective, I'm not sure of anything. More lockers. What secrets these held? Who had a crush on whom? Who was, who was practicing black magic? Who had dug a secret meerkat warren into the walls? Who was selling their books on the black market? The black market? You laugh! But where else do you think science labs get all those frogs for dissecting? They buy them? Now that's just silly. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew my locker would still have this old bottle of hooch in it. Wait, they never opened your locker? Nope. Score! Science lab? Ooh, science. Science was my favorite. Alchemy, astrology, phrenology, all the good stuff. How many years do you reckon this was the Tinguisher before it retired? That's not how... Oh yeah, I... also full of fire. Are these the same equations we see over the, all over the city? Surely somebody should have cracked them by now. That's the thing about science, detective. It's not an exact science. Um, it kind of is. That's what you think. A lot of dangerous looking chemicals here. We should consume them to protect others. Or we can just take them for now. Blech. Assorted chemicals. That's a lot of chemicals. A grab hand of chemicals. Nothing could go wrong carrying this around. I think I'm starting to see double. I'm seeing triple. A locked cabinet, probably full of Bunsen's and beakers. And Ralph and Animal and Kermit and I can tell from your blank expression I've misread things. Yes, yes you have, but I get it. The elements, broken down by atomic number, heft of flow and severity of cramps. And a desk. What a perfectly shaped desk. And a window. The monster seems to be searching the city. We need to lure it here and fast. Or we could just... Not. But we can't do that. Oh, there's a window there. I hope everyone in the city is okay. Eh, probably not. Okay, so we go this way, we go that way, we head down. We can't go that way, but we can go this way. Then leads to here, and here. So, I think we need to go back to the field. There's nothing here, but if we go to the sports building, under the bleachers, ooh. The other view was better. More field, less brutalist great buildings for me, please. Two out of five stars. We have a camera. One of the cameras used to record matches. And we also have under the bleachers. Well, well, well. Well. Well, what have we here? High school's biggest loser and his pet idiot. Hey now. I don't believe it, pets. The entire concept. Just don't believe it happens. Humans only animals. You ever see it? It's like... Gremlins or, or Santa Claus. I have a pet. You met her. You've also met Gremlins and Santa Claus. The king clamped him, remember? I remember upholding the law like a super cop, working Christmas Eve. Who does that? This guy. Stay safe, TL. Well, we found the king. I spent a lot of my high school time back here. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Kissy, kissy, big man. What? No, this is the best nap spot on campus. And I prefer the term swole to big. There's a secret door. There's also a king. I thought you'd be too cool to come back here. And miss everyone telling me how cool I still am and how well I'm doing in life? That's the difference between you and me, McQueen. I don't need other people's adoration. No, you dork. I'm successful and cool and you're not. I bet you even got a school bus here. I thought it'd be nostalgic. Ha! Ah! There's also a door. What's this? Looks like a door, detective. I... I knew that. I was being rhetoric. But you asked what it was! It's a door! I know, Dooley. I wasn't really asking. A secret one? Without a handle? I can see all that. Looking through the keyhole, it seems to lead to the control room. Honestly, Detective, I don't know how you get by without me mentoring you. Thanks, buddy. Anytime, Detective, except when it doesn't suit. Where am I going to get a door handle? Oh, that time we put on the MC Escher play, we had a lot of old doors. I wonder if any of them are still backstage behind the gym. So, I think we know where we need to go. 
Oh, changing rooms. It all looks the same to me. Nostalgic. Doing push-ups, star jumps, running around screaming. They painted this diagram on here. Explains why we've been using the same place since I was here. Also a gym bag. Why is there a bag just full of jock straps? Best not to ask. Anything abuse in this trash can? Only refuse sacks. Let's take them. Hey, we got something from a bin! Took a while. Did you know that in Europe they call these dirt pockets? What a fun and very real fact. It's not real at all. The jocks lockers. The jockers. I think they're all going to be the same. And we now know which thing we need to cut. And not surprisingly, it's locked. I need to look for another way in. So, if we go to the pitcher mound, then the school, then we enter, then we go this way, that's the wrong way, we then go back in, this way, into here, up here, and over here to the staff room, we now know which one of these to cut. If we want to get backstage, we'll need to cut the power first to get rid of the band. I know they weren't great, Detective, but driving them off stage seems a little harsh. Dually, we need to get backstage and can't while they're playing. Whatever you gotta tell yourself, Detective. I think we've caused enough destruction here. Nope, I think we've caused not enough destruction here. So, how much power did we take out? Okay, that's still going. And there they are. It's been dealt with. Where's all the training gear? What kind of gym is this? Where's the knee stretcher? Or the earlobe weights? There's not even an Iron Maiden for goodness sakes! Probably for the best we stopped. Now that I'm getting on in years, I don't have the sad stat to sing about too many of the songs that should not be sung. Fair enough. There's also the gear. I feel bad ruining the entertainment, but needs must. Also, I think their lyrics were driving that man in the corner insane. Yep, yep, I, I see him trying to claw at the edges of reality right now. Let's nip up now that the stage is free. It's like peering behind the curtain in ours. Except these curtains are broken and don't open. That they probably don't. Sure, here they're called props. Anywhere else, it'd be junk. Ooh, a skull. A box of theater props from fake food to skulls to actively crying masks to clay children whose eyes follow you to a full-size actively alive horse. Uh, no, door handles. How? Handy. Huh? Handles. Handy. See? I don't get it. I give up. Oh, I see! Give up! Up because you can lift a handle up to open the door. Pretty clever, detective. I'll oh, just take the compliment. We have a doorknob! A handle and spindle for a standard door. Also, a microphone. If we took this... We could save the world from just a tiny fraction of his singing. Great idea. I was gonna say we could start a band, but sure. Excellent. Also, that's a stack of tape. I thought that was a man wearing a silly hat. That microphone's so small it's almost a nanophone. God, I'm tired. We're all tired, Dooley. A stack of various stage tapes could prove useful. I doubt a pile of tape can prove anything, Detective. How would they gather evidence? By sticking to it? Contaminated! Oh, Dooley. Some rolls of duct tape. And drums. I think, think I can have a go? I didn't know you could play the drums. Where'd you hear that? I think I can have a go. Nope. And... Okay, we can't hear any... Ooh, ropes! Ropes that would open the curtains if they weren't, as was mentioned, broken. And we're not going to be able to do it. Ooh, curtains. Ceremony curtains in the school's colors. Bold green. Okay, we now have... Ooh, prop doors. Some prop doors for actors to walk in and out of scenes through. They have hinges, despite never having been attached to a frame. Some kids always had to swing them open and close to make creaking noises as they did so. With that done, we now have everything we need to get into the control room, and hopefully one step closer to luring that monster to the school. So, field, here, here, door handle here. We should be able to get the door open with this. Alright, the control room. This is good. Yeah, real good. We should unlock the other door into this place. Of course, being able to get back in will help with what comes next. You 
sure couldn't act a plan from here. One hell of a plan! You'd use all this audiovisual stuff to do it. Oh, obviously, every last piece of it. Do you know how to use this stuff? I can't even name most of it. We might need to find some experts. Fortunately, we have some experts in the school. Is this how Betty would have turned out if she went to media instead of the sciences? That's a question. The camera bank. This is what gets projected onto the big screen. Remember when this broke so Coach just glued a zero up for our score and we still ended up with a higher result than normal? Oh dear. Okay, we can figure this out. We just need to find a few things. We need a microphone for out on the mound. We need cables to run from the mic back to the desk here. I once had to use cables from the upstairs AV room to tie down a hog that got loose in school. Why was there a loose hog in the school? Well, we were stealing a mascot... You know what? I can't recall. We're gonna need a crew to operate the cameras and this desk. Where are we gonna find a bunch of people who can work gear like this? Well, I have some ideas. There's also the window. What if you... Right. To the field? Okay. I know one person we can get. Two, actually. Uh, one... might be here. Fur, long time no see. Alright. Uh, nope, nothing we could do here, but maybe you. Marv, you're the media kind of guy. I need some help. Need me to man a camera while you project an image of your friend here onto the big screen or to lure a giant monster away from the city? How did you know? Ah, uh, you know, you've got the look. The luring a monster away from a city look. It's in the eyes. I'll meet you out in the field. Now, who else was in the AV club? Who else was in the AV... Was Fern in the AV club? No, you were not in the AV club. So we have you. Who else do we need? Um, we got Marv. Oh, we can go into the AV room now. This will be very useful. Oh, AV stands for audiovisual. That makes way more sense than airborne virus. Why would there be a room for that? I don't know, but I was hardly gonna go in to investigate. Only one of us does stuff like this, and it ain't this guy. It's you, is what I'm saying. Uh, I know. Right, what have we got? Ooh, a photo development tray. A plastic tray about the size of a box of cereal. I wasn't listening, but what did you say about a box of cereal? Uh, nothing. An enlarger, used to check film negatives. Can it enlarge other images? Like, can I turn this dollar bill into a hundred dollar William? No. An old radio. I wonder what decade it's tuned into. That's not... The 40s. I love the 40s! I love this thing. It was the perfect bit of spy gear. You know it was tapes like this that took Nixon down. Took him down to where? I don't remember a Nixon going here. But I don't not remember it, so mathematically it must have. Cables! Various cables for camcorders, microphones, and even some SCART, cutting-edge stuff. Do you think the readers will remember SCART cables? Hell, even camcorders are a reach. One of these should come in handy. I remember both of those, thank you. And also, just because people didn't use them, media, like movies and television, has it there. A premium audio cable. Noise snakes, I call them. That thing is chewing on the haunted house. I hope Rex or Vassim are okay. They're probably fine. Hey, the photo. It's Marv, Fern, and... No way! McKing was in the AV club? Who? McKing, our mortal enemy. Old Dooley here doesn't have enemies. Whoever this McKing fella is, that's your beef. And a stack of TVs? Why would anyone need so many old TV screens? That is a question. Don't think, just buy. What kind of slogan is that? I agree, but also, where's the nearest retailer? Ha <laughs> ha! Also a clock. It's 9 p.m. The perfect time to rock out with your clock out. I get it. Right, let's go to, uh, Fern. Fern. I never knew you were in the AV club with McKing. Ugh, don't remind me. Pretty sure he thought AV meant all viable options. Gross. Hey, so, uh, the city is under attack from a giant monster thing. Oh man, this is why I came back from Tokyo. Work from home defense bunker days are getting all too common. Okay, not the response I was expecting. Look, I need help luring it away from the city. The word luring there suggests you bringing it nearer to here. Where we are. Where I am. Where I keep my organs. 
That is sadly the plan. You in? Sure, this reunion blows anyway. Cool, meet me at the sports field. See you there. Okay! I gotta ask <laughs> the king for his help. Also art room! Ooh, some of this art. I wonder if they need models for life drawing. Gotta get me some of that sweet academia green. I'm not sure how much green there is. Well, the walls are green. That's moldy green. Still green. Looking good, mana queen. We got markers. We got correction fluid. A load of black markers with different colors painted on the ends of a slogan. Colors in the imagination printed along the side. A small tub. Jar, receptacle of white correction fluid with a tiny white brush. Could come in handy to help clean up any errors the writers leave in. Season 1 sure had a lot of those. You know they're gonna edit that out. Or will they? Oh, I get it! A tube of red paint. You never know when you need to mark off a plaque door. There we go, getting lots of things. Do these brushes look like the old art teachers? Smart money saving scheme! Some saucy red paint. And... A small tub of white fluid with an adapter brush for fine application. Never use the stuff myself. I just don't okay, Miss Drakes. Oh, buddy. I'm not sure what this is meant to be. That's how you know it's a good art. One good unit of art. Look at those cheekbones. Can skeletons be models? Kind of. Whatever pose they were trying to paint, they blew it. What are those round things on my skull? That's a question. Is this guy still at large? Probably not. Man running from man in pants. Well, that is a thing. Man in pants. I get it now. It's titled Colors in a Bowl. I don't think it's going to catch on. It's filled with paintings that didn't make it under the wall. It's just a bit in disguise. Paper. Yes. And now we have paper. Wow, there was no funny quip about that? High quality paper stolen from the mouths of hungry aspiring artists. Aspiring artists should get used to being hungry. Mm, that sounds like the writer leaking in a little bit too much personal information there. And when we come back, folks, we have to go and talk to McKing. Oh boy, that's gonna go about as well as whenever we talk to McKing. Oh, you're there now. And if you enjoyed this video, and our escapades in trying to lure a monster to a high school reunion. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.